Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking self-portraits on film. For these photos I didn't have any particular concept in mind. This was mostly to test Pentax 6-7 with off-camera flash. Nevertheless, I've got a few decent shots and would like to share the process as well as some tips on how to use old film cameras with modern studio strobes. I loaded my Pentax 6-7 with a roll of Portra 100T, which expired in 2003. I used expired film in case my flash won't fire, so I wouldn't waste any good film. Also, I'm using self-timer because my camera doesn't have one. It is approximately a 15 seconds timer. I've seen people using shutter release cables, but I personally prefer self-timer. So in order to work with a strobe, you need a flash sync cable. One end of this uh, cable should be connected to a camera and another end goes to the trigger. It is very important to pay attention to the flash sync speed of the camera. Usually it is marked with red. For my Pentax 67, a flash sync speed is 1 30th of a second. For example, if you set the shutter speed at 1 60th, you'll start to notice a curtain on the shots. And you don't want that. For flash trigger, I use Flashpoint Evolve. Here's the most interesting part when it comes to getting the right exposure when using flash. I personally use a light meter, but it is possible to use digital camera as well. I set my ISO to 100, which is my film speed, and I put shutter speed to 130 of a second and select flash meter in mode. Then uh, when I press top side button, I see that flash mark is blinking on the light meter. That means it is waiting on the flash. Once flash fires, there will be an aperture number displayed. So you only need to dial it in your camera. Or if you want a particular aperture number, you just have to increase or decrease your flash power. Since it is tungsten balanced film, I decided to put red gel on my flash to give some color separation on the final images. For the modifier, I'm using a beauty dish with a grid to avoid any light spills on the backdrop. I like working with grids because it is a good way to cut off excess light and make it more focused, especially if you're working in smaller spaces. I'm using two light sources here. Uh, first one is the flash and the second one is the daylight from a window. I position myself the way the window light becomes a side or rim light on some shots, while flash is my key light. I'm setting a tripod uh, to the place that initially I'm gonna be sitting so I can get the focus in camera. On half of the shots my flash didn't fire for some reason. First Five photos were shot at 1 30th of a second and at f2.8 and for the last five shots I decided to experiment with movement and see what's gonna happen. Again, on some shots flash didn't go off but I still was able to get some usable images out of them. For this particular shot, I've set shutter speed at one quarter and one half of a second and aperture anywhere between 2.4 and 3.5, depending on the shutter speed. Main tip on capturing the movement with ghosting effects is the light has to be controlled. There should be lots of shadow areas to begin with. So when you fill those shadow areas with flash, flash will freeze the motion and continuous light will create light trail. And then you just need to experiment with movement 
you create movement either with your camera or in my case, I was moving. I hope you enjoy this video and see you in another one.